That's not a good sign. Special Agent Smith. Lieutenant Anderson, I'm in charge of the investigation. Special Agent Smith, FBI. Really? Investigation, so please cooperate with him. Sorry, I'm busy. Come on. It'll pass. Don't worry. Who'd leave that lying around? It's okay. Don't worry. When I knew him, he took better care of himself. What's going on with him? There are bloody <coughs> prints on these bags. Are you all right? Yeah, just a little faint. I was expecting it, but then... Uh, give me a minute, and I'll, I'll head back. The sight of blood. We've all been there, haven't we? No. Ugh, what a stench. You'll need to ask the concierge how to get to the parking garage. He's the one who sent my colleagues down. Hmm. The apartment has changed since my last visit. Mr. Adams? No. This can't be happening. That's what we're here for. You can count on us. Stick around in case we have more questions. Fine vintages imported from Europe. More knew how to treat as guests. This is where I met Moore for the first time. Human logic is beyond me. What's the point in doing that?
us safe. Now we just have to find the code. Lydia and June at the beach. going to get a return on our investment anytime soon. A souvenir from the Hong Kong Stock Exchange. Son of a bitch wasn't messing around. Have you seen all that cash? somewhere. Portfolios of old shares. 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 Boston manufacturer's files. A Boston manufacturer's files. A Boston manufacturer's files. doesn't just manage the Camarillas business. The mayor's deeds. in case things go south? Or are you planning to leave us? I understand better now. The prince asked more for a complete report on the members of the Primogen. An auction. Acquisition of Lot 87. Dejan Siaka. Hmm, a trumpet belonging to Don Ellis. Okay, sure.
I should put some money on that. Officer Baker, can I help you? Were you the first person to arrive at the scene of the crime? Yes, sir. My partner and I were the first to get here. Just tell me about it. We got the call around 2.20. The caretaker had called because a resident was injured. It took us about 20 minutes to get here. The poor guy was in a panic. He told us he'd seen one of the tenants, Jason Moore, enter the building, and he looked hurt. He was being held up by his two bodyguards, and he was bleeding a lot. Did he see the wound? Yeah. He said the victim was holding his right hip. So I went upstairs with the caretaker. We saw blood in the elevator and on the landing. I rang the doorbell, but nobody answered. So the caretaker opened the door. I identified myself. There were traces of blood leading down the hall away from the entrance. And just after that, I uh, found the decapitated body. Did your partner come with you? No, he stayed in the foyer to secure the entrance to the building. Did you touch the body? No, there was nothing I could do to help him. So I uh, secured the scene. I put my gloves on to take his ID out of his jacket pocket so we could identify him. Then I called it in. Where was the caretaker during that time? I told him not to come inside, but he followed me. When he saw the corpse, he was really shaken. He wouldn't let go of me. Then what did you do? I called for backup. They told me that forensics would get here as soon as they could. They were out at another case. That was their top priority. After that? I secured the entrance to the apartment. Were you able to find the bodyguards? No, there was nobody here. But they must be somewhere. We're looking. After that, I searched the ground floor. There was nobody around. But from the looks of things, somebody searched the apartment. When Sergeant Lehane got here, she took care of upstairs. It's a good thing, too, because it took everyone else another 15 minutes to get here. She didn't find anyone there. So there's no sign of the family, then? Nothing. The place is empty. If you remember anything else, let me know. Of course. It was my greatest pleasure before. Now everything tastes like ashes. Searching here was looking for something specific. A fortress security catalog. They install highly secure rooms. What are you playing at? Oh, I... I beg your pardon? Don't mess with me. Who are you? Calm down, Mr. Bazori. I meant no disrespect. I work for the Council. Why would the Council have sent her without warning me? Most of the time, they send me to clean up. Are you behind this? No. I got here after it happened. What's that file you've got? Oh, an account file. Have it. Here you go. Okay. Hmm. Let's see how much she knows. All right. What have you found? Oh, I'm a little embarrassed. I'm not really allowed to talk about my missions. A 
I don't have time for this. Give me what you have. Like I said, Mr. Bazori, I'm here on behalf of the Council. You know as well as I do that if you don't know about it already, you're not supposed to. Think very carefully about what you're going to say, Lane. I'll ask you one more time. What are you doing here? You're putting me in an awkward position. You know our rules. You know you don't have a choice. What are you playing at? I appreciate your consideration. I know that my life is in the balance. But that doesn't change the fact that I'm not supposed to share the orders I've received. Very well. I don't know what's going on, but I really don't have time to lose. What do you- You can be sure I'll report this to both the Council and the Prince. No, please. I don't have a choice. I beg you, I'm only following orders. If you complain about me, I'm done for. Promise me you won't tell anyone about it, please. I've always been a loyal servant of the Council. I'm risking my life. You're right. I really don't want to. So be it. This will be our secret. Fine. If we've both got to be here, we might as well work together. Well, I've already searched the wife's office. Nothing. Then I went through his office. It looks like someone has already cleaned it up. I didn't find anything. I'm working on the bookshelf in this hallway, and I found something here. What? A file on the Domain's finances the Council would rather not see end up in the police's hands. Give it to me. I must return to the court tonight. <laughs> There's no need, sir. I have to destroy them. Quit stalling, Lahane. Give me the files. I'm sorry. I can't. Sorry. I've got orders, Mr. Bazori. Lieutenant, over here! What is it, Lahane? I just found these files. We need to take them to the Financial Crimes Unit. Come with me to the elevator, and I'll show you, sir. You can go, Lieutenant. All right, Smith. See you later. Well now, it's just the two of us. That was clever, but I think you're going to regret it. No, wait, sir. Give me the file. Okay, okay, here you go. I tire of this little game. Your mission is to answer my questions if you want to keep on climbing the food chain. Understood? Yes, sir. Tell me exactly what they asked you to do. I got a message at 2.20 telling me to go to this address. I was supposed to pick up more and some financial documents. After that, I was supposed to wait for further instructions. Well? I hope I'm not going to have any trouble. I'll tell the Prince you obeyed your orders, but you'd better go. But my mission, I've got to- No questions, Lane. Very well, Mr. Bazori. Interesting.
cards, please? I'll run the plates. Hey, mister. You can't go into the parking garage. It's a crime scene. Agent Smith, FBI. Oh, hi. Officer Norton. They didn't tell me you were coming down. Got something? Wyatt saw Moore leave at 225. Wyatt? The parking attendant, part security guard, part valet. Anyway, a car that belonged to the victim left in a hurry. Or at least he thought it was more, until he found out he got his head cut off. There's skid marks on the ground and uh, signs of a minor accident at the exit. He must have really been in a hurry. He? What? You said he must have been in a hurry. You're saying it was a man. Oh, no, no. It, it just slipped out without thinking. It could have been a woman. Do you think it was the murderer? We're not sure of anything at this point. I've got a few questions. Where's the witness? Wyatt, he's uh, in the security booth over there. He's super nice. I don't think you'll need to question him again. You mentioned skid marks. Yeah, they're very distinct. They start from his parking space and go all the way to the exit. They clean this place twice a day, so there's no doubt they're fresh. The driver peeled out of here in a hurry. And you said there was an accident near the exit. Yeah, minor one. Broken headlight, paint marks. He must have had a hard time handling it. Do we know what kind of car it was? Yeah, we called it in. It's the victim's sports car. Wyatt said there's only the sedan left. Did you find anything else? No, that's it. Since we're still waiting for forensics, we gotta be careful. But you know how it is, right? Let me know if you have uh, any other questions. Hurry up. We need something, guys. We're waiting for the forensics. Hello, Mr. Bazori. You must be mistaken. I'm Smith, Agent Smith. Yeah, sure. Do I know you? Everyone knows who you are. Is it just me, or are you pals with all the cops around here? Let's just say I'm pretty... intuitive. You know what I mean. In the years you've been hunting us, you've acquired a hell of a reputation among our kind. I didn't know you would come. I'm not looking for any trouble. I, I, I didn't do anything wrong. I- Just who the hell are you? Me? I, I'm nobody. The name's Wyatt Alvarez. I was embraced five years ago. Mm. A thin blood. I spent years hunting them when Quentin King ruled Boston. Unfortunately for me, the blood of my sire was already weak. So I can still catch glimpses of the sun, but I don't have actual powers. Who created you? His name was Victor, but he died last year. Do the kindred know you exist? Yeah, yeah. I followed the rules, but the prince told me he never wanted to see me again, so I try not to make waves. I try to help out here and there. I'm hoping someone will notice one day, and I'll be allowed to become a true kindred. That's not very likely, if you ask me. That's not very honorable. What? But I... What are you doing here, then? Uh, I thought it was a pretty cushy gig. It leaves me with a lot of spare time, even while I'm on the job. And it also means I can live at night. Are you involved in what happened up there? Not at all. I swear. 
I've got a sweet job here. I'd never risk it. So what happened? I've got no clue. My shift started at 10 p.m., as usual. The sixth floor tenant left around 11. At midnight, one of Mr. Moore's bodyguards came down to get the car. They were going to a party, apparently. I didn't see them come back. Then, around 2.20 or so, one of Mr. Moore's cars went flying out of here. It hit the wall near the exit. Did you recognize the car? Yeah, it was his sports car. The only one like it here. Did you see who was behind the wheel? No, it's got tinted windows. I thought it was Mr. Moore at first. But from what happened upstairs, <laughs> I doubt it now. Hey, were you the one who... You really think if it was me who did it, I'd be standing around here trying to figure out what happened? What can you tell me about Moore? I saw him a lot. He's the tenant I got to know best because of his working hours. And he was the most generous when it came to maintaining his cars, too. Anything in particular about Mrs. Moore? Yeah, I see her every once in a while. Sometimes I see her with a girl, coming back from vacation. Sure is good they weren't here tonight. What makes you say that? Well, Mrs. Moore's car. I haven't seen in the garage for weeks, and she's the one who took the girl to school. Mr. Moore told me they were on vacation, and he was going to go join them soon. Did you see the bodyguards today? James came by earlier this evening to move Mr. Moore's car, but I haven't seen them since. That'll be all for now. At your service, Mr. Bazori. Nothing in it. Agent Smith, FBI. Oh, hello. McLean. Can I help you? Just a few questions. Moore had several cars, right? Yeah, I think so. But you better talk to Wyatt about that. Your colleague mentioned an accident that happened tonight. Do you know anything about it? Oh, no. Not yet. Wyatt told us everything he knows. You questioned the caretaker when you arrived? We didn't have to. Wyatt told us everything we needed. He's a real team player. If you want to find out more, you should talk to... Uh... Wyatt. Oh. So you know him, too. I have to find a way to open it. Can't be forced. I have to find a way to open it. It's impossible.
can't be forced. Right on. drafting table. Huh. That must be Lydia's desk. There. My sire always said that at a prince's court, like in a game of chess, you must know when to sacrifice your pawns. I've never been in this part of the apartment before. Beryl, will you ever change? Someone tossed a bunch of stuff in this bag, in a hurry to leave. Poems in Lydia's mother tongue. Disinfectant, obviously handled by someone who was bleeding.
chase. So that's where you are hiding. Huh? huh? What the? Good evening, Jason. Mr. Bazori. I, oh, how did you? Maybe think about letting us know the next time you build a private bunker. Uh, it's just that I. She sent me to find you. No. Not now. She found out about everything, didn't she? I don't understand anything you just said. But get up. We're going. I can't. I absolutely have to catch a plane tonight. I don't think that's going to happen. I'm begging you. Please. Just let me go. So you were at the reunification party tonight? Yeah. Beryl asked me to go. You were supposed to partner with the Hartford Chantry. And he absolutely wanted me to be there. To reassure them on, on all the financial aspects. This much I knew already. I made sure to be seen to show him I came. And I'd planned to leave. When suddenly... They started shooting all over the place. Bullets were flying everywhere. I dropped everything and tried to escape. I must have left my briefcase there, come to think of it. Without the bodyguards you gave me, I would never have managed to escape. Who attacked us? No idea. As soon as the shooting started, Jack hid my head under a coat, and we ran as fast as we could to the exit. The only thing I remember are those screams, Mr. Basori. I had never heard anything like it. Before we go, what the hell is this mess all over your place? It's not my fault. I... I tried to cover up my departure. I... My bodyguards wanted to take me to the Prince right after the shooting at the party. But I... I couldn't. Your flight? Yeah. I wanted to buy me some time. I pretended I had to, to get some files that were at my house for the prince. Once I got here, I sent James to my office with my car. Supposedly to pick up some more files there. I killed Wu by taking him by surprise. I cut off his head and threw it down the garbage chute. I put my college class ring on him and gave him my wallet. I'm sorry, Mr. Bazori. I had no choice. You don't do things halfway, do you? We've wasted enough time here. Get up. I'm not going to be able to go with you, Mr. Bazori. I, I lost too much blood. I'm having a hard time staying conscious. I must take you back to the Prince, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm begging you. I've always refused. I, I want to stay free. I'm not really giving you a choice. Drink. That's enough. June will die if you don't let me go. Stay behind me. Stay behind me. Oh, Agent Smith, wait. Is that Jason Moore? You found him? Oh, we Agent gotta get to the funny officer. I'll take care of him. Oh, okay. Sure. Yeah.
ever see this. Stay close. Hey, stop! Don't move! Put your hands behind your head, damn it! Don't On shoot. the ground! I'm gonna shoot! That's enough, officer. My head. Jason. <gasps> no. Get in the elevator, Jason. <gasps> no. 